Hello there guys and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna get uh, Microsoft DOS 3.3 installed on the Toshiba 3100. It's gonna be a lot of fun, hopefully. As you can see it's a quite different terminal. It has this different color scheme. It's uh, I think it's phosphor something that makes this weird colors. I mean it was originally because it's an emulator, of course. I don't have a 3100, which is a shame, but who knows, maybe one day. Anyway, let's get going. So, at first boot, it's gonna show like bad battery, bad checksum, bad memory size, bad configuration, bad everything. It's normal. It happens, so you press F1, and then it's gonna take you to the system setup, which is apparently correct. So, hard disk type, 20 megabytes, that's correct. No extended memory. Yes, to expanded memory, we do have 384 extra kilobytes, which totals up to one megabyte of RAM. Key keyboard, yeah, 84 keys. I, you have more, but the original had just 84. So yeah, that's correct. Display card is a CGA, 25 yes. That's correct as well font type single standard yeah I would say that's correct so we press F10 to record changes but most importantly let's get the system disk inside the Microsoft DOS disk which I'm doing right now uh, let me just find it mm, there you go it's the Toshiba OEM so that it matches the laptop and we press F10 and yes I'm sure and it's going to boot straight into Microsoft DOS and we're going to proceed with the install. It's pretty simple, it's pretty fast. Matter of like minutes at most. So it's going to test the memory. As you can see, it detects uh, the memory and the expansion, which is good. The Shiba personal computer, Microsoft DOS. See? So now we make sure to set the date. Which is 10, 16, 2018. Our is okay. So copyright Toshiba Corporation, Microsoft. Yeah, that's right. So as you can see, everything just works as it should. <laughs> so that's it. That's a uh, that's a pretty decent site a sign, which means that we are ready to install. So first of all, we're gonna run F disk. Make sure to format before we actually install. So let's create a, a DOS partition and then we're gonna format, yes. And now it's gonna record the system date, hopefully. Yes, as you can see, it records Tuesday 2018, that's right. So that's pretty handy. Actually saves that. And now we can proceed and format format C and it's gonna wipe the entire disk which is gonna take a little bit because it's a, a slow disk it's a slow CPU as well it's a 286 so you know it can't be quick but don't worry about it we've got a time we've got okay let's let's just wait wait and see Yeah, it's complete. We can finally install. That was it. So, disk is wiped and ready for Microsoft DOS. Let's just do it. Sys C. It's gonna get system files in there. See? Now, we're gonna make a folder called DOS. You should have hard disk, of course. And now we're gonna get the content of the floppy disk in there as well so let's get it all pasted in there all the system files all the fonts everything that we might ever need the whole system file look at that beautiful even better with this different color scheme which I find very very dope my personal opinion I find it very cool Love it. 
place share system okay 47 files that's correct so now we gotta make sure to get a command come otherwise we can't send commands it's a command interface we gotta make sure that it's in the root of the hard drive which it is now and it's time for the most important part which would be getting uh, the second disk which contains rest of the system files which we need so let's just make sure that you copy them to the DOS folder oh oops typo that's oh, ooh, 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 my my bad my bad I screwed up there you go so it's gonna get everything else in there I don't think we missed anything set up one test set up one test one test three test eight good all right so we got it all in there we can make sure to eject the disk and we can finally hard reset and it's fully normal it's just gonna take a while now and we're gonna be straight into the system as you can see right now there you go it's gonna test memory as you can see it reads the whole one megabyte one megabyte of ram hell yeah that's a lot of power and uh, welcome to microsoft dos it's installed simple as that pretty quick i hope i helped you guys with this quick video as you can see it's a very very simple install doesn't take time at all and uh, yeah so i see you guys later and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and if you wish leave a comment down below adios